Right. <laughs> it's crazy. Yes, it is. Very wild. Epic. It's an epic journey, you know? But they've been telling us this on everything that we were going to, you know, they almost kind of etched it into reality themselves that this was going to happen. And, you know, and here we are, the living souls making it happen, you know? Right. It's wild. That's really awesome. I like how Lucy did it, becoming a mother, you know? She really was aware of all this shit and uh, prevented a lot yeah. of things going, coming her way with bringing a baby into the world. You did it very uh, critique and smartly. Absolutely. Being a mother opened up my eyes to like an uh, even higher level of, of all of this, for real deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't see things the way I see them now. Like, I started coming into the chats and all these hormones were in me. Like, these uh, messages from the goddess. Uh, that's what I, I say the hormones are. They're messages from the goddess that were implanted in us for us to be able to protect our babies. Mm -hmm. That's Makes awesome. Makes total sense. Thank you for these powers. Like, just incredible. It so easy. Yeah. You gotta stop making it look so easy, Lucy. Having babies? <laughs> you make being a um, being motherhood. No, it's not. It, it really is very challenging. Like I under I understand my mother now. Especially being a single yeah. parent, if you are, I'm not sure. Yeah, for all those single parents out there, it's difficult because you're the only one. Just, I think back in the day, it must have not been like this. There, it really does take a village to raise a child because you need a lot of people to help you. Now you take a turn, now you take a turn, now you take a turn. Because when you're doing it all by yourself and it's only you, it gets exhausting, like physically and mentally. And then a moms need a break. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. We're Wonder Women, you know? Oh, yeah. Baby, you're a, uh, you're you can tell by her cry, she's doing a great job. Mm -hmm. She had a calming nature, you know. She just not really. Oh, she was born in a very, uh, a very calm environment too, mm -hmm. with a midwife. It was so soothing. It was mm -hmm. so quiet and mm -hmm. peaceful. It wasn't like at a hospital. Beep, beep, uh, beep. With everyone making, making the mother nervous and, oh, my God, I think this is happening. I think that is happening. We're going to have to interfere. Uh, nothing like that. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, no. There's no interference. You don't need no. A woman knows what to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Tactics. Mm -hmm. And they, may, they try to make us feel incompetent, like we don't know what we're doing. Like, it's not time for to push, or it's not time to do this, or it's not time to do that. <laughs> like, wait, wait, are you having the baby? How are you going to tell me if you've never had a baby? Hmm. Wait, you're not the person that's delivering the baby. I'm delivering the baby. I'm having the baby. Right. <laughs> you know? They want you to sign your rights away right at the, um, right at the birth, too, when you get them at the hospital. They want you to... Instantly sign. Oh yeah. Have your birth. Your... There goes the birth certificate. Yep. That that's when your soul gets sent over to the Vatican, where the devil lives, and yeah. the devil yeah. owns your soul already. You don't have to like it. It's crazy stuff. Mhm. Mm yeah. And if you don't get a birth certificate. Yes, you can't travel or what, you know, you can't do this, you That's can't do that. That's how they're going to make you this vaccination now, too. Yeah. Yeah. They just... yeah, I have to show my birth certificate for a lot of things. Just, I don't have a driver's license, but I need it for when I get a driver's license. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't get a birth certificate, you don't get this. So old. It's from 1972. Damn. <laughs> if you don't get birth certificate, it's like it's it, there's no registration of that baby. There's no. It's like it doesn't exist. Which which may not be a bad thing. Mm -hmm. given, 
given where we are. Yeah, because yeah. then they just label you as a male or female, and that's only pertaining to cattle, and that right there right. is telling you that you're a slave, you know, and right. pe people don't see it already, <laughs> but, you know, they're already they're already calling you um, lost and dead at sea, officially a monster, just by calling you a human being, you know? Human, the definition of a human is a monster, so, you know, it's like all this shit that they placed on us at birth. Concept of getting a diagnosis, even the word diagnosis has the word die in it, mm -hmm. but it's like a diagnosis is a label. Mm -hmm. And when you attach a label to yourself, mm -hmm. guess what? Read the book, read the book of that label. That's what you're going to do. And that's exactly, it, it's a spell. It's putting, it's putting a magic spell on, on your, on your body. And, and, and you get to live out that, you know, medical condition. Exactly. And it's, it's amazing. That's how doctors can predict everything mm -hmm. that's going to happen because you believe you have Say you're telling you they have you pay you have it. <laughs> right. Right. Simple as that. No, autism like these it may just be it may just be the reality of that child. Maybe there's no such thing as as autism. You know, that's a label that came from You're right. From a dark place <laughs> mm -hmm. with bad intentions. Yeah. You know, designed, designed to put you into oh, into so. perpetual drugs and rehabilitation or whatever whatever there's a whole series of programs because the pharma yeah you. you i see it because all the only ones that are reaping off it are the pharmaceutical companies and the pharmacies and the, them are the ones that are harming us the pharmacies they're farming you they are and and it starts when you just walk into a doctor i mean you basically turned your body over to the doctor and you're get, letting them tell you what's wrong mm -hmm. no it's like you can figure it out you're sick stay home get better Mm -hmm. Figure out what you need to do. You'll yeah. you'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Just like you will you when know? you have your baby. Just like you will with your baby. You mm -hmm. can you can you know what to do. You you'll just figure it out. You'll just know at the time it comes. You know, Lucy probably didn't know exactly what was going to happen, but once you got in there, it's like okay, yeah, this this hurts. Pretty uh, natural. Pretty natural. <laughs> That's yeah. the worst pain you can ever feel. But you have to go through it. You have to go through it. And it's like it's like screaming pain, and then Ooh. the absence of pain, mm -hmm. and then sometimes pain is beauty. Pain and then the right. absence of pain. It's yeah. constant back and forth, and it's like it's the only way you can get through it because there's this point where it just literally goes away. That was mm -hmm. my experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, at the end I did. I wasn't feeling it anymore. It was just like wait, like. Mm -hmm. It's gone. It still hurt, but you know it was. And it doesn't help to scream like those things you see on TV with all those women. Ah, like it doesn't help. They just do that to scare you. <laughs> you know, I remember screaming. I, I remember a little bit of screaming. Oh yeah, it's no, natural. but it's okay to do it if you want to because that's what gets you through it.